Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in the city of Touba, Senegal. This is one of the holiest Islamic cities in Senegal. It's a pilgrimage destination, and they also have a special food that we are going to experience today. We've been invited to the home of Madame Mbake. She's gonna prepare for us a special regional Senegalese food that includes rice, that includes lamb, that includes dove, that includes whole chickens all together on a platter. All the cooking, all the delicious food, everything is coming up with you right now in this video. Thank you very much. Thank you. So very special, here you have the Moringa. Moringa. Moringa juice. Moringa juice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And so here you have a, a hibiscus. Hibiscus, okay. Yeah. And here you have the baobab. Wow. Great. Baobab juice. Oh. Ying. Wow. Ying. Wow. Ying. 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 Mica. Me too. I want the You want baobab too? It's almost milky. Yes. Oh, thank you. So good. Oh, it's almost like a soursop. Creamy and milky. And then this one is the hibiscus juice. Yeah, like a hibiscus juice, huh? This is very new, even for me. This is a D vitamin. Wow. Great. Moringa juice from the leaves. <laughs> Oh, really good. Almost has a banana taste to it. Wow, delicious fresh juices. What is the name of the dish that we'll be cooking today? Okay, it's um, it's a broken rice. We're gonna see and. It's uh, like uh, we call uh, chebuyap. Chebuyap. That's the name of the dish. Chebuyap. And is it a is it a regional specialty from Tuba? It's uh, very special here in the center of Senegal, especially when they have their pilgrimage. Uh, they do what they call the berne. Ah. Berne. Okay. Okay. And berne uh, in the chebuyap they put different meat. That's why you have the uh, mix of uh, dark. You have chicken and lamb. It is important to note that Tuba is a sacred city. And so people come here as a pilgrimage often, right? And so this is one of the special dishes. And so it's truly an honor to have this opportunity to see the process to have this meal here in Tuba. Okay, oh, onions never get old in Senegal. And these are some of the, the seasonings here. The yes. ginger. The garlic. The ginger, the ginger. The pepe. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. a variety of chili peppers, garlic, garlic. Nice. and then parsley. Onion. Uh, onion. Green onion, green onion, I think. Green onion. Onion. Okay. Yeah. And parsley. Uh -huh. And parsley, wow. And this is a uh, pepper. Okay. The ginger. And ginger. And ginger too. The first process is the chicken is being stuffed with those spices, mainly garlic, chilies, and uh, parsley, which have been pretty much pounded into a paste. So she just makes some slits into the chicken and stuffs it. Salt the chicken. So that entire chicken, uh, once the oil is hot, once it's stuffed, gets deep fried whole. And they're gonna do that same process with the dove. You keep frying until the chicken is dry? Yeah. It's like we're doing french fries. Okay. <laughs> the chicken is fried, the dove's going next.
So all the chicken is done frying, the dove is done frying. Next in goes the lamb into that oil. And that's gonna be a, the lamb fry. She adds in some seasonings, some onions, some garlic. And then she's gonna add more seasonings and spices to that. Two different things going on. On the outside, she's frying the chicken. On the inside, she's making like a sauteing down onions, carrots, salt, some seasonings, and some lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay, and the onions. Wow. Vinegar. This is mustard? Yeah. No water. Okay. Done now. Okay, that onion sauce is done. Tuba coffee. We call cafe tuba. Cafe tuba. So we're just taking a little break during the cooking for some cafe tuba, which is the specialty, one of the beverages of choice in tuba. Mm. Oh, it already has a natural sweet taste to it. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Good. So quick, quick coffee break. Cook the rice inside of there? Okay, okay. Now steam the rice. So she's gonna cook everything together though? Everything. The chicken together. and the dove? Yeah. Okay. And, and the... And then steam the, the rice. The mutton. From the industry. They do their own seasoning. All natural seasoning. As I've learned with so many dishes from Senegal, Senegalese food, is that there's so many steps, such a process to make each dish. And so this is not done yet. The water goes into that lamb. The chicken and the dove is gonna be re-added to that broth and then somehow combined with the rice. Wow, chicken goes in. Oh man, the, the meat juices are gonna overflow and mingle together in that saucy stew. Oh, more black pepper goes in, yes. When they have the pilgrimage in Tuba once a year, uh, she's hosting um, many people in the house and she's doing um, the same food uh, with 48, 45 kilograms. Wow. So I can repeat it. So it's like a pilgrimage pilgrimage of, of people from Dakar or from all over from Senegal? all over Senegal. Or all, all, all over, over West Africa? All, all over, over the, the world. world, okay. Because many people are flying from New York, from Paris. Ah, pilgrimage to Tuba. To Tuba. Okay. And the city received four million people. Wow. And this family hosts people and they cook for them 45 kilograms. So this is just a, a very small recipe for her today. Exactly. Stones are at the bottom. Ah, okay. Because the rocks are heavier than the rice. So they lean at the bottom. And again, I've said this with almost every meal in Senegal, but it's just genius the way they steam the rice. 
on top of the meat or the dish. I mean, one thing, not wasting any of the vapor or the steam from the meat. And another thing is just, it's just so resourceful. I mean, using that same pot rather than putting two things on the stove at the same time, that's making full use of the resources that are going. And then that wet cloth goes around to seal in that vapor. So she removes the chicken and the doves. And then she's just still balancing out that gravy, that sauce. Uh, it's kind of transformed again into almost a milky consistency. That rice is going to boil for another 15 minutes and then we're going to be ready to start assembling this dish. The rice is ready now. Fluffy, aromatic, meaty. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. It's just absorbed all of that oil, meat, broth, juices and spices. And uh, she's getting ready to plate it all out. <laughs> The presentation is so important and often communally eaten off of trays throughout Senegal. And so she dishes the rice first to the base of a massive, there's a mountain of rice. Then finally the, the garnish on top with some fresh vegetables and olives sprinkled on top. Oh, that is spectacular. And just so much pride goes into the like beauty of food in Senegal and how it's presented. It's so special, it's such an honor to be here. We are ready to eat this special, especially tuba meal. Okay, okay now thank you. To wash your thank hands. You, so here, before we eat, we wash our hands. Must wash the hands, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Oh, oh, that aroma. Oh man, all the meaty juices and the carrots and onions, the onions. Oh, wow. Oh, so you can sit like this, so you can lean yes, into it? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's even better. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's you even sit, better. You, you sit on his. Okay, sit on your feet like this? Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. So you go for the rice? Yes. Go for the rice first? As we were doing Do the, yesterday. the squeezing technique where you, you squeeze a, the bone. a bite in your, in your palm. Mm -hmm. You roll it. You roll it. You can feel all the meat juices, and the oils all coming together. It. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, the excellent. Yes. Excellent. The pepper in there. The pepper in the rice is what stands out. Delicious. Yeah. And the vinegar from the sourness of the onions. The vinegar that she added. 
wow. It's so much flavor. It's like, I mean, all of the reduction of the lamb broth and fat is all within, absorbed into the rice. Plus the, the chicken skin, the dove. Wow, that's, that is extreme flavor. Yeah, doveling. Look at that guy. Yes, tag team. Yes. Thank you. Not a lot of meat on there, but I guaranteed what's on that dove is gonna be so flavorful. Mmm. Oh yeah. So lean. Such rich protein, so succulent. Oh, the, the dove is incredible. Oh man, it's so flavorful. It's oh dry. yeah, I especially wanna see that, the, that the, stuffed the, section. Can you see where it's stuffed here? The stuffed is here, in the chest. And here, oh okay. Just take it here. That chest, you can see it's stuffed. Ho ho ho, thank you. You can see that it's stuffed with garlic, stuffed with chilies, yeah. stuffed with, oh, you can feel how moist that chicken is too. How moist that chicken is from being deep fried. Mm. Oh, the garlic in there. Mm. Well, the garlic is what just makes it stuffed all the way into the cavity of that chicken. So it's just like powering through the meat, flavoring the meat. Mm. Mm. Every now and then you can garnish with one of the vegetables. Well, crispy, juicy, that just kind of cleanses your mouth as you're eating the <laughs> lamb meat here. Which is so tender. It's been braised down in its oil and juices. Mm. Mm. Oh, and the lamb is equally tender. Yes. Just melts in your mouth. Oh, thank you, puppy. Mm. Wow, that lamb is so flavorful. And again, I just love the, along with the flavor of the food, the beauty of the food. I love the communal aspect of eating in Senegal. Mm -hmm. It's always, Senegalese food is always meant to be shared with friends, with family. It's a, a culture, it's a food of sharing, mm -hmm. hospitality, and just this is why we say the country of Telanga. Mm. Telanga means hospitality. Well, Senegal it is true. country of hospitality. Hospitality. Oh. Oh. Look at the tenderness of this lamb, yeah. I mean basically the, the lamb was fried and braised in its own juices mm -hmm. to make it so tender. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. The tenderness of that lamb. The chicken is actually especially incredibly good and juicy, moist and stuffed with all that flavor, those spices. That is also really good. Oh, there it is. That dove breast. The dove beach. Mmm. Yeah, that dove breast. Incredible flavor. So lean and pure and flavorful. So complex once again. Mm. Amazing. Okay. Oh, basil yeah, mint tea. Yeah. To and, and lemon juice. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
All right. Oh, thank you. Okay. This is for after the meal. Yeah, the digestion. We've moved into the living room for a little bit of dessert, fresh fruit, and then also some tea, which is made with the basil outside as well as mint. And this is to help the digestion to, to get things flowing. Oh man, that's good. Oh yeah, that just immediately kind of goes up your nose a little bit. Mint is really nice, the basil is really nice. The lemon too. Because that rice is definitely heavy with all the, the meat juices coming out. You can, yeah, it's definitely filling, it's definitely heavy. So this tea is great afterwards. Mm -hmm. Digestive. Oh, it's really nice. Some grapes. Her mama's father is Hers. here. Her mother's father. Yes. Oh, okay. Built a mosque. Built a mosque here in Tuba. Yeah. Can you tell me also what what you were saying about the her relative who who uh, was very influential and he first came here to the sheikh. He sheikh. first came here to Tuba. He just came here. It was a place where he refused, where he was sitting under a tree to pray, because he was persecuted by colonialism, and every year we have a big a big pilgrimage here. And they come from all over the world. More than four million people attend to the ceremony. Ah, okay. And it's a ceremony of forgiveness. Because he said, I was deported by France, but I forgive them. Mm. So the fact of deporting me was a blessing. Mm. Because God showed me the right way. And actually from here, we are going to go to the Grand Mosque and visit. Uh, that's what's coming up next. We are here at the Grand Mosque in Tuba, and we are going to have a whole tour of the mosque. It's one of the most beautiful, one of the largest in all of West Africa. Hello. And especially, it is a, a pilgrimage destination. And we'll leave our shoes here at the entrance before entering. Wow, it's spectacular, really beautiful. Since 1927, it's still building. They're still building it, yeah. okay. Time to time. Because 1927, he's the death of the founder of this community. Wow. Okay. He said it was uh, marble from Italy and some of the craftsmanship from Morocco and even alabaster from Egypt has gone into the construction here. Oh, okay. Oh, and from Turkey. This roof from Turkey. In 96, there is a mosque here, loud here. Okay. On Friday, during the 20 minutes of praying time, this side is only for men. Oh, okay. Yeah. When the praying farm finished, women can pray in the two of the week, women here. And in the center, between praying times, men and women go in the center to drink holy water. And behind the fountain is a place of Imam, imam who leads the prayers. Okay. Well, the architecture, the design, the craftsmanship is really spectacular. How many minarets? Now we have seven minarets. Seven minarets. The five minarets was finished in 1963. Uh -huh, okay. And okay. the seven caliph who died five years ago, had two more minarets to symbolize seven caliphs. Ah, but okay. seven minarets is enough like Mecca, we can't pass. Okay. That's why the actual card, the eight, can't do oh, Okay, so seven minarets. Yeah. And how many, how many people can the capacity be here? The capacity of the mosque is 10,000 persons. 10,000, okay. now in Tuba, we have more than 100 mosques when we pray on Fridays. That's wow. why it's not so completely full. We have about 6,000 persons every Friday. Okay. We have a new one in Algeria. Oh, okay. Second highest minaret in Africa? After Casablanca? 87 meters. 87 meters, wow.
And so that's gonna complete this day. Uh, another day of delicious food, learning about Senegalese culture here in Senegal. And also, if you haven't watched more videos in the Senegal food series, we're traveling around Senegal, eating some of the greatest food and covering authentic traditional dishes. I'll have the link in the description box, so make sure you watch more videos from Senegal. And I wanna say a big thank you again to you for watching this video. Please remember to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Tuba. I will see you on the next video.